Hello everyone and welcome to Oracle Concepts. Uh, today we will learn a very basic thing uh, which uh, lots of people asked me several times uh, who start working uh, on a live environment but they are pretty much confused how to change the settings of a putty like colors, fonts and all those things. So I will, I will tell you very basic things. Let's move on to the P01. I will provide the root and password. See, uh, why we need to change color or font? Uh, in many cases, people when working on uh, production uh, and a test environment, they basically need to distinguish between them so that they can directly identify that yes, it is a production environment and we don't need to execute any uh, command which will alter or should change something. So for production, uh, I usually change color of my uh, Windows background to red so that I should never execute anything on that it's danger <laughs> so basically p01 i'm considering as production we have to right click on putty we have to go to change setting colors default background modify and you can select red or you can select any color basically when you need to distinguish between two servers you can use this okay apply so here's the change of color now if you want to change the font of your uh, the characters that has been written out there you can go to setting appearance you can change the font from here sometimes it takes some time so it's 10 by default you can make 14 ok apply now a bigger font is there so it's easily uh, someone can see uh, this font from uh, from a far distance uh, so these are some of the features and there are many other features and many other settings that can be done using change setting right appearance was the was the main thing for font we can change it back to 10 now we can change the type of font we can change the color background and one more thing one of the most important thing windows here we have 2000 what exactly is this uh, when 2000 lines are completed on a server then uh, the initial lines will get uh, omitted and new lines will be coming on the server if we want more logs or you can say till the when when we logged into the system until the time we log out to the system we want all the logs on putty itself then we should increase it to a very big value so that we should have all the logs out here saved in putty and how can you copy the data which is in putty right click here you have copy all to clipboard and then you can go to notepad and try to paste it using control v see whatever we were having on our putty it's out there and you can save this data so whatever you have worked on it can easily be saved so this is these are very basic things uh, but sometimes people are so confused with it and they are not aware about it and they feel shy to ask it to someone because it is very basic so I hope uh, this particular session will help you guys uh, to understand how exactly font color and all these things can be changed and how can we copy the complete putty data into a clipboard thanks for watching this video if you like if you like my videos uh, do subscribe to my channel so that you can uh, get update of all the new videos that I'm going to upload. Thank you so much everyone. Bye-bye.